this is how you paint artwork in Adobe Illustrator. So typically when people think of painting, they think of a paintbrush, uh, which is logical. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to your tools panel and you want to look for the symbol that looks like a brush. It's actually right above the pencil tool, right underneath your rectangle tool, so you can't miss it. Now they have the paintbrush tool here and they also have the blob brush tool. What people are more familiar with and what we like to use now as a standard is the blob brush tool. So you're going to want to click on the blob brush tool and you're going to want to make sure you have a fill set and you can change that to any color. We'll change it to uh, a green. And on your artboard you can click and paint out the actual color that you have in your swatch that's down here. Now, what we can do is we can double click on this on our blob brush tool and we can actually change the fidelity and the smoothness for the accuracy of the brush itself. But you also notice that down here you have default brush options and these options are actually going to change how your brush reacts as you're painting on your artboard. So you can change the size if you want to increase it. You can change the angle and you'll notice that this part of your window, this is your actual angle area, you'll notice that that changes either clockwise or counterclockwise depending upon the negative or positive uh, aspect of the angle. And then you can change the roundness. So you can make it either completely round, like a circle, or you can make it more oval in shape. And you'll notice how it's squeezed thinner and thinner, the more you go. And let's, let's say we leave it at that, just so we can see the difference in the actual brush. So we click here, and you'll notice the different effect that you can get when you're painting on the board. Now let's delete that. And let's go back. Let's actually, let's create another line on the board using the brush tool that we already have up. And let's double click again. Let's change the angle, increase the size, and make it a little bit more round. Click OK. And then you'll notice that you have a more thick brush. It appears a little bit differently. And finally, if you were to go inside here, you'll notice that once you're back in your brush options, there are three panels next to your size, angle, and roundness. These little drop-down menus have options within them. They have fixed, random size. They have fixed or random angle. But some of them may be grayed out and some may not. You'll notice that underneath you have pressure, stylus wheel, tilt, bearing, and rotation. These options <coughs> will be governed by the actual pen tool if you're using a tablet. So if you have a tablet and you're using a pen on your tablet, depending upon how you may tilt, rotate, or how much pressure you actually add on your pen, it will change and adjust the actual thickness, angle, and roundness of the brush itself. And then on the far right, you have three additional areas and they're called variation. So what it does is it gives you a little bit more flexibility. When you change this, you can actually change if you want the variation to be low, if you want it to be high, and you'll notice that in your window it changes the shapes. So the far left, depending upon what you've selected here, because it's random, it means it'll do it at random intervals on its own, but if it was selected at pressure, the harder I press, the larger the size would be on the brush. If I press lightly, the slower and smaller it would be. And then in the middle, if you're just doing your general regular press. And that is how you paint artwork in Adobe Illustrator.